Hello and welcome back to PyBatch YouTube and today I want to do a quick demo of Beautiful Soup, uh, a web scraping Python package, um, also abbreviated as BS4, that's how you can get it. I actually already made a virtual environment here with my alias and I pip installed requests and BS4. Right, so that's already satisfied and already imported the URL and we're going to parse because for this demo I want to parse the books on my PyBytes books page and although we do have an API for this tool I'm going to just pretend that we don't and I'm um, bound to the website um, which is also an important note right like if there's an API available always use it uh, it has rate limiting it has standardized responses so it's always easier and you're not reliant on the HTML of the page to potentially change. Um, but anyway, if there's not an API, then uh, web scraping is a valuable tool. So in this case, uh, I need to know what to pick. So in this case, I want to pick the books I'm reading, I have completed, and I want to read. So the first step would be to really look at how the HTML is structured. So I can right click on anywhere on the page. I'm in Chrome, so I can use um, the developer tools and I go to inspect. And I'm going to see what makes sense to parse. So this is a movie tabs bar class. That's an unordered list with three list items. But those are just the tabs. Uh, if I go down, uh, the panes are actually movie tabs pane. And they also have unique IDs. If I just want to have the first pane, I could take this ID. Um, but if I want to have all the panes, then I'd rather go with the class because then I get them, get them all three. All right, so that's the CSS class I'm going to target. But first, we need to load in the page and make a soup object. Of course, I would normally put this into functions, but I'm just going to experiment. So I'm just going to write the code procedurally. Um, but obviously, that's not the final version we would end up with. All right, so we're going to make a request get call to the URL. And then we're going to construct a beautiful soup object passing in the response.txt. So the response.txt um, will have the full HTML body. And as the second argument, I need to specify a parser, which usually is HTML.parser, but I think you can also use LXML or something else, but this genuinely works. So now I've got a soup object and I can find elements. Um, so there's a find all method and for example, yeah, just to do a quick test, uh, if I want to grab any headers on the page, there actually are no H1 headers, it seems, are there? I mean, this should be a header. No, it's not even, right? So we need to go straight into the class parsing. Uh, but yeah, the code you see on the screen here would pick all the H4 elements on the page. But what I'm actually needing is a diff element of class Box title. I don't think that's the correct syntax though. Um, I think you need something like this. And I put the class name here without the dot. And that should get all the movie tab pane diffs. So it should get all the diffs with the class movie tabs pane. Um, so those are the panes. And let's just see if I get three as expected. And if this works at all. And I get three, so I'm on to something. Um, let's just use the breakpoint to time out, so to say, so I can inspect the elements. And then I can write some code on the fly. So um, the three panes are actually, if you look at them, HTML. If I want to take the first one, I get the HTML of the first one. That's of course, doesn't fit on the page because those are many books. So typically, let's say this is first, I store that into a new vari variable. And on every BS.4 element, uh, so this is a tag element, I have a set of methods I can use. So I can further um, look at sub elements, right? So here, if I'm in the, going back to the HTML, inspect, and in this pane, 
we have another div element and then we go down to the books which are all wrapped in uh, links or a tags right so I'm going to now find all the a tags in that div so I can do first find all a and there should be 15 books yeah that matches the calendar and how do I then get the book information let's try one first so this would be the first book and here I should be able to do dot text and that effectively gets me the title with a bunch of new lines so I can strip those off because remember strip does not only strip spaces but any space kind of character so that includes new lines and carriage returns so this would effectively get me the book title so if I want to do that for all the matches then I can do a little list comprehension for all the books in the first pane and that's that um, and to get also the relative URL I could then also make that a tuple of the book.txt and the book href and then I would get a list of tuples so I get a list of tuples where the first element is the title and the second element is the link but for now I'm not too interested in links so to piece it all together then um, if I'm just focusing on the reading books that's the first pane and for this would be the books And there you go. The currently reading list is this, and that should match from Napoleon Hill up until Fluent Python at the end. Now, of course, you can uh, loop through the panes as well. You could, as a follow-up exercise, then also parse the titles of the, the tabs. Um, you could parse this to, um, to track if you would do that on your own profile, if you would make an account here. You could, for example, make it a weekly cron job to um, parse how many books you have read or pages and keep track of the delta between the weeks. So there's all kinds of fun stuff you can do. Or you can uh, code a beautiful soup related byte exercise on our platform that um, I will have a promo code below in the description. And then you get uh, to use this on an intermediate exercise, which is not necessarily an easy one. All right, hope this is helpful. You get a taste of the beautiful soup library. There are other um, scraping libraries out there, um, but for a quick and effective result of some web scraping, I find beautiful soup uh, very useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.